Hello there, my beautiful viewers, and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host, and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. All right, the first part of this video is directed more towards app consumers, people who buy apps and uses apps. And the second part of the video is more directed to developers of apps. <laughs> Try before you buy. You see, this is something that hasn't been possible on the iOS app store. If we wanted to try out an app, it basically means we have to buy the app first. So you've had to, of course, rely on YouTubers and blogs and stuff to know what an app is. And you know, sometimes that's not enough. A lot of the time, it might not be enough. You might not know if you like a thing before you test that thing. And on desktop, trials has been a thing for as long as I can remember at least. You download something, you get to try it out for like a, a month or something. Well, we haven't had that on iOS up till now. And the thing is, this has kind of flown under the radar because when I ask app developers about this, they still give me the same answer. Oh, it's not possible to make trials for apps. And I tell them, well, it is. And then I give them the link to the Apple development pages where you can read up on how to implement this into their apps. Hey, yo, what the fuck? And they all get either shocked or surprised that this is even a thing. And I haven't been able to find exactly when Apple did this. I don't know how long this has been possible for, but it is now. And so the question I want to put out there to the end consumer who might be watching this, the people buying apps, not just music apps, but any app, do you want trial periods? Do you need trial periods? Now, you can answer in two ways. You can either just comment down below or you can go and find the poll that I put up in my community pages. If you're visiting my channel, just go to the community pages and you'll be able to see the poll at the top there. And if you scroll down, you'll see that I have more polls. If you answer any other polls, just know that you're being really helpful to me because I use that information when I make my content. So thank you in advance for answering my polls. Now, the second part here is for developers who want to implement trials into their apps. The reason I stumbled upon this topic was because I downloaded an app called Vocal Tune Pro. It's made by Davey Wensler, who also makes Audio Evolution Mobile Studio. And when I opened up the app, I was greeted with this prompt on how I wanted to go about the purchase of the app, either purchase or trial. And so I instantly emailed him and asked him how this was possible because to my knowledge, it wasn't. Well, he told me I was wrong and provided me with the correct link to the developer apple.com page and also said search for XX Dale trial. Now, I put the link to that down in the description and also in a pinned comment. So if you as a developer want to do this, you can go find it there. To just implement it, what you have to do is to create an in-app purchase with a specific text. In Davy's case, the text was three-day trial and then he set the price to free. Then what you have to do is to check the digital receipt at startup and look at the purchase date for the free trial app. If the XX amount of days has passed, then you can choose that the app stops functioning until the full purchase, which is another IAP. So that's how you implement it. However, there are some spookiness going on in the AUV3 version because it seems it cannot verify whether you're doing a proper purchase or if you're doing a hack attempt. So what David Wensley did was he made it in a way where the audio version of the app sends you to the standalone version when you're trying to go through with a purchase or an app trial purchase. For now, you'll have to do this workaround. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And so if you want to support the work I do here on the channel, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to support me in the financial way, go check out the links down in the pinned comment or in the description. And that, yeah, that's it. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. Yeah.